The successful issuance of a eurobond facility of 202 billion shillings at the London Stock Exchange may have meant good tidings for the country's fiscal budget for the coming financial year that seeks to fill a budget deficit of 639 billion shillings with 214 billion shillings intended to come from external sources. Any borrowing is borrowing that is measured, that we know what it is going to do and that we have the capacity to pay and that it is in the interest of the country. The new loan facility, however, continues to expose the country to unbearable debts, now standing at 4.8 trillion shillings. With a new debt instrument, Kenyans are staring at a cost of more than 520 billion shillings, that is 0.5 trillion shillings, to be paid out until 2048, and that is 30 years from now, when the last penny of the new euro bond will fall due. A fact that has the International Monetary Fund and other economists worried on behalf of Kenyans. When you're in a situation where you're generating too much new debt because of the deficit that you eventually will end up in a position where it's going to be very difficult to deal with. We are borrowing uh, to pay debt. Now that is not sustainable and it will be interesting to see um, how the government deals with fiscal uh, management uh, uh, going forward. And that hard position is already being felt. In June next year, part of the 2014 Eurobond loan will be due for repayment, a hoping 75 billion shillings. In six years' time, the remainder 200 billion shillings taken in 2014 will be due for repayment. In the next financial year, the government has outlined a fiscal budget of 2.48 trillion shillings to be financed through 1.6 trillion shillings from ordinary revenues, meaning taxes collected by the Kenya Revenue Authority. An estimated 1 trillion shillings is intended to service maturing loans and pay interest on loan facilities falling due, including the 2014 Eurobond facility of more than 250 billion shillings. As such, the country is already forced to borrow to pay outstanding loans. Kuna wengine walikopa pesa siku ingine wakakuja kufanyia karata ya golden bank, wakafanyia karata ya anglo leasing, wakafanya siyasa ingine hapo ya kolibo madeni ambayo haina maana. The deputy president saying such borrowing is essential for development of the country. We are a responsible and prudent government. That is why you can witness a working standard gauge review. You can witness roads everywhere in the country. But a scrutiny of the 2018-2019 budget statement shows that only 658 billion shillings, or 26%, is going into development projects. Some get to go citizen weekend.